We, you are going to throw down the info, DJ. Okay, Eric Dye here with DJ Schwang on Church Mag, part of the podcast video. I don't know. This is like a special report, breaking news. And the reason why that this is such breaking and amazing news is it's about the dot church domain. I mean, this this is revolutionary. This is huge. DJ, give us the 411. Well, the date you want to know is that dot church domain names are going to be available as soon as July 8th, 2014. And your readers at Church Mag, and I think there's one or two other blogs that have mentioned the coming of dot church domains. And now it's here, it's upon us. And so starting July 8th for a 60 day period called the sunrise period, mm -hmm. those churches and organizations with trademarks will be able to register their dot church domain name. And so that is the fast pass, the priority access, the exclusive elite for those churches that are on top of their games and want to get their domain name that ends in dot church. And there's so, a lot more I could talk about, but I wanted to get that up front and center. Exactly. To ring the bells and don't let the bad guys grab those domain names because names matter a lot on the internet. Exactly. And the, the so what you're saying is this isn't for just anybody who wants to hop on their their favorite domain buyer and look up a dot church domain for the fun of it. This is for those that have official trademark names that end in church correct uh it's for organizations and entities and this is where it gets rather technical and there's legalese in it and i'm not a lawyer and this is not official legal advice so right. you really need to re read the fine print but it is for entities with the trademark name mm -hmm. that are also registered in what's called the trademark clearinghouse to get priority access to register a domain name that matches their trademark. So if you own the domain name, let's say Saddleback, since that's a church that many of us know, mm -hmm. if Saddleback Church owns the trademark to Saddleback Church, they would be able to register saddlebackchurch.church. Church. Mm -hmm. However, the way I read the trademark laws and the way they have it set up with the uh, new GTLD, generic top level domain process, Saddleback Church would not be able to register Saddleback dot church because the dot is a delimiter mm. that separates the top level domain from the actual trademark name on so, the front side. Okay. So, what, what <laughs> <laughs> like anybody that, that, that does this stuff, like the whole dot business, blah, 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 like that's where it's at. I mean, you would Saddleback dot church. You would think Saddleback Church would be like first in line to get that. Uh, and I think they're preparing the way. And I attend Saddleback Church, so I've alerted some of the key members that this is coming, and they mm -hmm. should prepare. How they're preparing, I don't know yet, but they they are aware of the coming date, and they're certainly uh, going to do their best to protect their name. But now, but what, there is a lot of legalese and that kind of junk that makes it harder on the front end. But come September, then it's going to be a free-for-all, and it's okay. going to be the first person that grabs it. Right. Now, that, that's what I want to get to next.